there are zillions benefits of sunlight such as it kills bad bacteria and fungus sunlight has a beneficial effect on skin disorders such as eczema acne etc sunlight can disinfect and heal wounds sunlight builds the immune system the white blood cells which increase with sun exposure are called as lymphocytes and they play a major role in defend our body against infections sunlight also increases oxygen content in human blood and uh, it also enhances the body's capacity to to deliver oxygen to the tissues very similar to the side effects of exercise the sun has a great effect on stamina fitness muscular development etc and sunlight is actually the main source of vitamin d and uh, vitamin d is vital for good health it means that to be healthy you need certain amount of sun exposure you need to enjoy the sun sensibly so as uh, to make the vitamin d enough and not increasing the risk of skin cancer it tends to improve our well being and make us happier it does so as it produces a happy hormone called serotonin and anxiety related disorders and panic attacks can be reduced by being in sunlight but we have to maintain the balance if sunlight has such wonderful benefits then why should we use sunscreen to prevent our skin from sunlight let's have a look at some very interesting reasons for wearing sunscreen there are good benefits about being in sun but not for too long we are at higher risk of getting affected from the harmful rays of the sun as the ozone layer is constantly depleting the sunlight that reaches us is made up of two types of harmful rays ultraviolet a or uva which is long wave and ultraviolet b or uvb the short wave UVA penetrates deeper layers of skin and causes tanning aging etc and both of UV rays can cause skin cancers as uh, both of them damage skin cells sunburns can weaken our skin the burnt skin may suffer from repeated attacks of itching redness peeling swelling etc most of these come from the influence of uvb rays and sunburns could actually be a cause of melanoma that is a type of skin cancer and we should wear sunscreen daily to shield our skin from the risk of these types of skin cancers tan is healthy but we should understand that while we are sunbathing to tan we are at the risk of skin cancer by the ultraviolet rays choose a sunscreen that it has a minimum of sun protection factor 30 to prevent the tanning and we should make sure that uh, we have had we apply the sunscreen sunscreen shield our skin from developing wrinkles and fine lines etc we can slow down the aging process of our skin by applying sunscreen now the next question is how to choose the appropriate sunscreen for choosing the appropriate sunscreen at first we have to look to the spf number that is the sun protection factor uh, that is actually degree of protection against uv rays we should need to choose the spf considering the amount of time we will spending in the sun the spf refers to the ability of a sunscreen to block harmful rays that can damage our skin and uh, the higher spf number the higher protection it provides but uh, none provides 100% protection right 
and uh, there is a calculation that uh, shows that um, uh, how much time the sunscreen is going to protect our skin and when we need to reapply our sunscreen and of course we need to choose a sunscreen with broad spectrum which helps us uh, to protect our skin from both the uva and b we need to avoid parabens and some more harmful chemicals we have to make sure that for protecting our skin from sun we are not exposing ourselves to some really harmful elements we should consider uh, the mineral based ingredients such as uh, titanium dioxide or uh, zinc oxide it uh, actually sit on the top of our skin rather being absorbed now we need to talk about who should uh, use sunscreen uh, everybody need to wear sunscreen except the babies under 6 months as their skin is very tender and the chemicals of sunscreen may harm and damage their skin. You may think that we don't need sunscreen on cloudy days or rainy days but it is absolutely wrong. Approximately 80% of UV rays get through clouds. We need to use sunscreen every day. We can't skip sunscreen for a single day. And uh, we need to apply sunscreen on all the exposed part of our body. A thick layer of sunscreen should be applied of the exposed skin parts. If you use sunscreen regularly, you can prevent all of this. So I guess uh, this was helpful for you. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, thank you guys for watching and hope you all will have a lovely day. And uh, if you have any question or suggestion, then you can leave it in the comment section below. And obviously don't forget to subscribe the channel. Many videos are coming very, very, very soon. Take care. Bye.